Game Ranks presents another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we bring you some uncut gameplay and some impressions of the latest games releasing. As always, I'm your tour guide, Jake Baldino, and this time we're talking about WWE 2K16. Yes, that's right, kids, we're talking about wrestling today with everybody's favorite annualized franchise. And of course, the question you're all gonna ask, how does this compare to last year, 2K15? And I'll come right out the bat and say it, it is an improvement over last year. It adds a lot of things that I feel like 2K15 was definitely missing. That being said, though, if you didn't like the direction that 2K15 took where it made it a real sim approach, like really slowed things down, made things much more technical than they've ever been, uh, 2K16 only just builds on that. Especially in the sense that this time around you have like a limited stock of reversals, especially depending on your character. If they're a more technical fighter, they have more reversals. And you have to actually really keep track of when you want to use those. Do you want to save it for just getting punched in the face? Or do you want to use that reversal when a big choke slam is coming your way? Plus you have all that and on top of that you have to manage your stamina and health as always. And they've changed up a couple of things like submissions. Submissions now has a new mini game where instead of last year like how you just mash buttons, this time around you actually have to rotate the stick and kind of fight your way out of it. It's like you're chasing each other with the rotating the sticks to get out of a submission and it actually feels a little bit more like you're actually escaping from a submission, but I was really into just the tension of just mashing the button and trying to get out. Little things I noticed, it does feel much smoother, but I still don't feel like I'm totally in control. Things don't totally feel great all of the time, control and button pressing and move wise. But compared to 2K15, it definitely seems a little bit less sluggish. That being said, just a little thing that annoyed me, the refs this time around are slow as hell. I don't know, it just takes them really long to start counting before I pin someone. But does the gameplay really feel perfect for a wrestling game? I'm not sure. It's not for everyone, but I want to hear what you guys think. A spectacular counter by Steve Austin. Man, what a maneuver. Here we go with a little taunting. But really, the biggest improvements for 2K16 that you really need to know are just the fleshed out features and just more things to do. As you can see, along with create a wrestler and creating your own entrance and moves and styles and all this stuff, there's also a ton more different game modes with a fleshed out career mode with a lot more titles to win this time around, instead of just the heavyweight title. While 2K15 felt really bare bones, especially like when you just look at the menus and stuff, there's a lot more going on here, a lot more to click on, and just a lot more to play overall. The presentation is awesome, just like last time, really keeping it very, like, feeling like it's television kind of this is home on the biggest stage the boyhood dream what did we just see daniel Bryan did it the miracle kid to the greatest conflicts and it seems like there's a lot less loading in the presentation and like in between ring entrances and stuff like that and you could actually physically run in and interrupt someone's entrance it's, it's pretty cool and if you think graphically it looks a little weird maybe it's youtube because on an actual screen the graphics look decent mostly the character models everything else looks a little meh but the character models often when they get close enough you can really see the detail in the skin and the muscles and the moves and that's cool but where the game really improved this time around they made up for the roster this time around there's 120 wrestlers it's like totally stacked when you're scrolling through all of them. Not only are there 120 different characters, you can also have different versions of those characters throughout the year. Like there's multiple rocks, multiple stings, multiple Stone Colds. And speaking of Stone Cold, Stone Cold gets his own sort of mode where you get to play through the history of the character. I found that really cool because I was a Stone Cold fan growing up and it kind of ties in and uses real footage, mixing in with game footage and it's pretty cool. It kind of relived some memories of when I was a kid watching Stone Cold on TV. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list. And that stone serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list. And I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Nope. So those are some things I think you needed to know about WWE 2K16. I do want to know what you guys think about the series, especially you hardcore guys, because I only really hopped on again at 2K15. Before that, my favorite wrestling game was still WF No Mercy for N64. So speaking of that, I do also want to know in the comments, not only what you think of WWE 2K16, but what's your favorite wrestling game of all time? Let's talk about that. If you learned a thing or two about this game and maybe I influenced your decision if you're going to check it out, click the like button because that can really help us out. That's the best way you can hook us up. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jake Baldino if you want to talk about video games anytime time. And subscribing is the best thing you can do because we put out videos every single freaking day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.